Before we go to our break, we're going to take a look at one of our cats. This is Gigi. Gigi is about one year old. She came to us back in June. She's only about 11 pounds. And the reason that she was turned in, she had actually been adopted from a rescue in Baltimore um, when she was a kitten. And that rescue worked with um, a lot of trap, neuter, and return programs and, and had a program in place where they have uh, they would ear tip the animals that they, the cats that they spay or neuter. So if you notice, um, Gigi's left ear is, has the, the corner missing off the top of it, and that's called ear tipping. And for those of you who are not familiar, that sing signifies that that cat is at least altered, either spayed or neutered, and uh, typically rabies vaccinated as well. Now the challenge with maintaining an ear tipped cat that's outdoors is you must make sure that at least uh, every year or every three years depending on the, the cat and the vaccine that they get uh, vaccinated for rabies against rabies so that that vaccine status is current. So Gigi is ear tipped. Um, again if you see a cat like this that's outdoors typically they are spayed, they are neutered and should be current on a rabies vaccine but again the challenge is when you've got a lot of cats that are ear tipped in uh, population in one area, um, they, there needs to be a caretaker. That's part of the trap, neuter, and return process. You want to make sure that um, you know that there's a caretaker. You can't just leave animals outside to their own demise. But Gigi is very friendly, and the reason she's on our adoption floor is that um, she's adoptable. She's friendly. She's handleable. She did come to us already spayed, um, current on vaccines. She did develop an upper respiratory while she was here. We've treated her for that and that is resolved. But, um, but again, sweet cat. So if you're looking for um, just a sweet cat, she's got a beautiful coat, she's very hardy and she's only about one year old. Her adoption fee would be 97.50 and that covers anything that we've uh, invested in her, including a snap test. She is negative for feline leukemia and feline immunodeficiency virus. So again, this is Gigi and she is looking for her second adoptive home. We're going to go ahead and take a short break. Stay tuned. When we come back, we will take a look at some more of our cats and two of our gerbils that are here at the shelter. <laughs> 